Oh, what's going on? Oh, what's popping? To my slice and dice, gang. Peace and blessings to everybody watching. It's your boy Cardo, and we back. I'm back. Edit it again with another video, and since that's the case. Come on, y'all, smash that like button. Let me roll these windows down because it's hot outside. Smash that like button. Follow me on all my socials and subscribe to your boy. All the links are in the description below. Slice and Dice Gang. Y'all know what's coming next. Let me give you a hint. You got to get these out. We need them every video. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Grab the swords. Every video, y'all know how we get down, man. We back up all troops, all points with that word. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. We got to do something else. Can't forget this. We should never forget this. Got to be done every day. Got to be thankful. Let's thank the most high. Who? That's our almighty heavenly father. Why? For allowing us to be here. Today, yes, sir. Slice and dice gang. While y'all sharpening y'all swords up, I gotta do something. You never know, man. There may be some people out there ready to get some swords too. Enjoy slice and dice gang. About ready to subscribe to Cardo TV. I gotta let them know what they in for. See, I'm the type of guy that don't like to waste people's time. So I gotta let them know what they in for if they subscribe. Let me talk to them. Now, if y'all subscribe, you got to be ready to repent. Time to turn away from your sins. Time to really start obeying our Heavenly Father out here. Just one Heavenly Father, though. Just one God. It's only one God out here. One God we serve. That's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of Israel. Of the Messiah, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Shout out to Big JC. Big facts. You are also ready to grow spiritually. Yeah, you ready for your faith to stay strong also. I'm talking standing on business strong. Standing ten toes strong. All the way until the end. You ready to use these gifts and talents God gave you too. Yeah, he gave you gifts and talents and a whole plan. Before you were born, you're ready to put them to use. Serving other people. Making this world a better place. Basically, at the end of all of this, you're just ready to be the light in the darkness. Come on, if you're ready, I'm gonna need you to stop playing games and come join Slice and Dice Game. Bars. Now today, everybody, it's time to get some fragrances going. Some spiritual fragrances. Some holy fragrances. Things that's gonna allow us to smell good. I'm talking about good, good. Not only smelling good, with, with these fragrances, y'all, we are able to move accordingly. We are able to do the things that God has brought us here to do out of love. All right? Now, with each fragrance, y'all know how we get down. Every fragrance, you know, for the fellas, y'all got the cologne. Females, y'all got the perfume. Y'all know in these videos, we use our imagination. Because God gave it to us, right? Yes, sir, he did. You already know with each fragrance, we're going to be slicing and dicing with the scriptures. So get the swords out. We got the fragrances here. Everybody, let's get it. Now, the first fragrance we got to put on. We got to put a lot of this on. A lot of it. It's the fragrance of love. <laughs> Everywhere. Now, why do we need this fragrance of love? I'm going to tell you. See, that word love is the greatest commandment given to us by Christ. And is the central theme of it all. By putting on this fragrance of love, we can demonstrate our devotion to Christ 
and follow example of selfless love. Now the thing is about this word love, it's a lot of people that don't operate with that, unfortunately. It's a lot of people that only operates with hate and jealousy, want to see people fail. Especially if you are the one to be on this path. That's how it works. I got to be real with y'all. When you on this path, this spiritual path, doing the right things, deepening your relationship with the Heavenly Father, you studying, you and your word growing with your Holy Spirit, allowing it to overflow, which we want to do every single day. When you're trying to just be loved, just like how God is, man, a lot of people hate you for it. But the thing is, we got to keep continuing to show love regardless of the hate. We're supposed to be examples of Christ, right? We're supposed to be representations of Christ. And Christ most definitely was doing things out of love, even though he was receiving the hate too. Y'all, we're we, we going to receive the same things the Messiah did doing these things. Nothing new under the sun. That's why the more you continue to show love, the more you continue to spread love, not even thinking about what people may say or what people may think, you start to not even worry about, you know what I'm saying? All of the hate, all of the energy that comes towards you, that is dark because you're doing it, just because you already know, regardless of anything, God is on your side. Y'all, when y'all really know God is on your side, it's not really too many things that you're just going to be worried about anymore. You're really not going to be having no worry. Not with God on your side. Not with his presence. That's far from worry. Because with God's presence, man, y'all got to understand, not only is God's presence love because God is love, so it's just going to allow you to show it that much more. And that's giving people opportunity, too. You know what I'm saying? To also show acts of kindness. To also show love. Because it's rubbing off on you. Or it's rubbing off on them through you. You know what I mean? Sometimes people pick up on that and it, and it allows them. Or I wouldn't say it allows them. It, it makes people, you know what I'm saying, wants to spread that love just because they're feeling it from you. It's like a chain reaction. That's how we should think about it. Just in the sense of allowing more love to spread. Not the type of hate we receive from it. Just allow them more love to spread because this world is so dark, full of hate. We want to cancel all that noise. As believers in Christ, that's our responsibility. Because as believers in Christ, we are representations of Christ. And we're supposed to be obeying the most important commandment. The greatest commandment there is, man. Loving our God and then loving each other. So come on, y'all. Let's show more love. And we do that so many ways, man. So many ways. You showing love to God just by meditating in your word. Just by putting your gifts and talents to use. Helping other people. Just by doing acts of kindness randomly. Not even trying to receive anything. That's love, man. That's when you show God love because you're helping people. And um, you actually putting forth effort. Going out of your way to make a change. A positive change. That's love. You know what I mean? So it's just like, come on, y'all. Let's let's try to show more love. As much love as we can every day. You never know who needs it. You know what I mean? Somebody could just be ready to end their life. Somebody just really need to just hear something. To just hear something positive. Just to change their whole attitude. It can be like that sometimes, y'all. Somebody going through something. And then you just say something as simple as, Hey, man, how you doing? Hope all is well. It could be just that, y'all, that can change somebody's day. You know what I'm saying? It's the small things, too, that matters. Put that in the comments. The small things matter, too. Big facts. So, all right, let's continue showing this love. But first, before we continue, y'all know what we got to do. Get the swords up. It's slicing dice time. Ephesians 5, verse 2. And walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us. This is a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. He deserves it all. Most definitely. And y'all seeing what it said in that scripture? Gave himself up for us. So come on now. All of that love that we receive, we got to spread that too. It's only right. We want other people to experience that too, man. 
All right, let's continue with the fragrances, everybody. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, we finna, we finna put on the fragrance of joy. The fragrance of joy. <laughs> All around. We want to be very joyful in this journey. Let's talk about it. Joy is one of the fruits of the spirit and is a reflection of the hope and salvation found in Christ. By putting on this fragrance of joy, we can show our gratitude and delight in our relationship with Christ. Just showing how thankful that we are because of what Christ is doing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Every single day, y'all, we need to be thinking about the positives as much as possible. Because on this path, there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of things that happen that wants to bring your energy down, that wants to make you negative. So you got to be thinking about the thankful things. You know what I'm saying? Think about things like, I woke up this morning. I am able to walk. I have somewhere to live. I'm able to eat food. It's the small things, y'all, that we need to be thankful for because we go through things in life and then sometimes we tend to forget there's a lot of people out here that's going through so much worse. So much worse. And then, you know, something happens out of our control. We're going through a certain struggle. We having all of these setbacks and then we allow it to ruin our day. Not even realizing that it's happening for our good because it's a it's a scripture, Romans 8, 28. I put it up top. Everything happens for the good of those who love the Lord. So regardless of anything, Christ is always going to be with us. And we should be thankful just for that because of every time that we go through something, but we know in the back of our minds that Christ is still there, ready to make it better for us if we let him, ready to heal us if we need that healing, ready to give us this joy and peace if we need it. We got free will, y'all, man. We got free will, so we got to remember these things, and it's up to us to tap in and talk to Christ, man. To tap into those scriptures, really meditating and understanding the promises that he had for us. That keeps us in check. That keeps our energy right and positive. Keeps us joyful. You know what I'm saying? So just try to think about as many positives. Sometimes, y'all, you need to say them out loud. Maybe sometimes get the spiritual journals, y'all. Write things down, things that you are thankful for, things that you have overcame, things that you have accomplished, just so you can remember. And just so that you can continue to have that inspiration and encouragement to keep moving forward with a happy attitude, being thankful. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all got to understand there's so many things that God is doing for us behind the scenes that we can't even see yet. Things that we can't even see, things that we don't even know about yet. That's how we got to think about it. Come on, y'all. Don't try to this is another thing, too. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't keep trying to figure out so many things that is going to happen tomorrow. You don't know what's to come tomorrow. We need to be more focused on the present moment and why we should be thankful in the present moment. Honestly, y'all, I'm trying to get better at that as well myself. Just being more in the present moment. Not thinking too much in the past because that's done already. That's happened. And not thinking too much in the future because you don't even know what's to come yet. You know what I'm saying? We should be thinking about the past like it has already happened. But I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? And whatever happened yesterday, I got a whole nother day to either make something change or just make some changes or to just be better. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to like thinking about the future, just in the sense of I know that the future is in God's hands. Which means that the future, I'm going to get the victory at the end of the day. Everything possible, y'all, to keep us with this joy. Don't let nobody take this joy from you, because that's what people are going to try to do. You know what I'm saying? Do not care about the opinions of other people. And just watch who y'all hang, hang around, because that can affect your joy and your peace, too. Misery loves company, so if you are consistently hanging with the narcissist, consistently hanging with those people who are always gossiping or just negative all the time, that's going to have an effect on your energy and your walk. And it's not necessary. We got free will, y'all. We can cut people off whenever we want to. It's up to us. Stop ignoring the signs. Stop ignoring that Holy Spirit. God is putting it there for a reason. Because God knows who's best for you. He knows supposed to be. 
He knows who's supposed to be in your life. So let him do that for you. You know what I'm saying? The more people that are like-minded, the more people that are, you know what I'm saying, having, having similar interests, you know, similar goals as you, those are the people you want to be with because they're the ones who are going to be encouraging you. They're the ones who understand, you know what I'm saying, what's going on out here because y'all on the same path. You see what I'm saying? Most definitely. Come on, y'all. Let's keep this joy. Let's keep this peace. Let's slice and dice on it. Y'all know what time it is. Get him out. Psalm 4, verse 7. You have put more joy in my heart than they have when their grain and wine abound. That's where we get all our joy from, y'all. Christ. Yes, indeed. And we want other people to experience that joy, too, y'all. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's why we never be afraid to give these testimonies, spreading these gospels, sharing our experiences, and our faith the best way we can when the Holy Spirit is telling us to, all right? Yes, sir, indeed. Let's continue. We're not done putting on fragrances. Oh, yeah. Come on. Got to put this on. The fragrance of forgiveness. That fragrance of forgiveness, y'all. We need it. Why? I'm going to tell you. Forgiveness is a cornerstone of our faith because we are called to forgive others as Christ forgive, forgave us. By wearing this fragrance, we can embody the grace and mercy of Christ. Let me talk about the grace and mercy of Christ real quick. That grace and mercy, y'all, we got to be thankful for it first and foremost because without it, we wouldn't have been forgiven and also we wouldn't be where we're at now. Y'all got to understand, a lot of us are still here because of God's grace, because of his forgiveness, because of his love, man. It gave us, it gave us purpose. We're still here. It gave us purpose because y'all before and probably still now, you know what I'm saying? Just in the, in the sense of doing things that are not in alignment with God's will. Sometimes we fall short. We human, y'all. We human. So we're going to make mistakes sometimes, but we can't let our mistakes define who we are. You know what I'm saying? We can't just continue to ponder on where we messed up at. We have to move on. We have to move forward. We got to understand that those mistakes, the things that we did in the past, you know what I'm saying? We learn from them. That's how we got to look at it. It allowing us to grow. It allowing us to do the things we can do now. Y'all got to understand a lot of things that I did in the past, like my mistakes, me still being in sin, not woken up to this truth yet it most definitely has still played a whole part in where i'm at now because the things that i've been through i'm able to help other people that are going through similar things i'm also also with the things that i've been through it brought me into a sense of where i had to be in isolation you know what i'm saying like everything that i felt that was going on in my life that was so bad me feeling like I was wasting so much time not fulfilling my journey, fulfilling my purpose, dealing with that narcissistic abuse, wasting so much time. All of that still played a part into who I am today. And we got to be thankful for that, y'all, because throughout all of those times, you know what I'm saying? Without God's grace, his mercy, we wouldn't have made it out of it. We wouldn't have made out of we wouldn't have made out of it at all. So it's just like y'all got to understand moving forward that God doesn't look at our mistakes. You know what I'm saying? He looks at us trying to change. He looks to see if that heart is trying to change from those mistakes so that he can continue to move us forward. Because, you know, he brought us through certain things for a reason, y'all. But if he see that we're not learning from them time after time after time still stand in certain sins not trying to repent that's like a slap in the face because we saying you know god you're getting us out all of these things but i think i'm gonna still go ahead and do it my way i think i'm gonna go ahead and still you know what i'm saying just enjoy the pleasures of this world instead of dying to myself allowing the holy spirit to be used nah man we got to make changes y'all especially today because the world is getting darker it's so much spiritual warfare it's getting more intense. 
more intense because the devil, he, he about ready to collect. He's trying to get as many people to go down with him as much as he can. He don't want to go down by himself. So it's getting more intense out here. So that's why it's that much more important for us to know who we are today. It's that much more important for us to know that we need to have a deep, real relationship with God. So that we can continue to move accordingly, spiritually grow, and be obedient out here. Because there's so many things that can easily take you off of the path like this. Temptation comes every day, everybody. Our souls are on the line every single day. So that's why every day we got to tap in. We really got to tap in. Learning from our mistakes. Not taking his grace for granted. You know what I mean? I sure hope so. Come on, y'all. Let's slice and dice on it. Get the swords out. Let's go deeper with the slice and dice. Oh, my bad. Colossians 3, verse 13. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievous against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Come on, y'all. says it in the scriptures what we must do. This is God's truth. Come on. And also, thank you, Holy Spirit, when you don't forgive, man, not only are you hurting yourself because you continue to hold that grudge, you continue to hold that hate in your heart, which is very unhealthy. You're blocking so many blessings that God got for you, man. You're blocking so many blessings because God, he looking at your heart like, man, you still just can't forgive. You still can't forgive. And you got to understand this can happen too, y'all. Like, you can be looking at somebody, wanting somebody to hurt, not wanting somebody to make it in life because of the things that they did to you. And if that person gets it right with the Father, because people can change, y'all, but if that person gets it right with the Father, that God going to allow him or that or her to see them get blessed right in front of you instead of moving you forward just because you still couldn't forgive. You still was having that hatred in your heart. Come on, y'all. God looks at the heart. So we got to make sure we forgive it for us, not other people, y'all, for us. And mainly just because we were forgiven as well. All right. Yes, sir. Indeed. We got one more fragrance, y'all, to put on. If y'all ain't smashed the like button yet, please do so now. So other people can smell good out here, too. We want this video to spread. Share the video and subscribe. Now. We are finna put on the fragrance of kindness. Need the fragrance of kindness on. Why? Oh, I'ma tell you. Kindness is a representation of Christ's love and compassion. And by putting on this fragrance, we can show Christ's likeness in our interactions with others and demonstrate the transformative power of the gospels. God made us the way we are for a reason, y'all. So when we are doing things, doing things that are kind, doing things out of love, we be on our true selves and we shouldn't change that for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Believe it or not, even if you get taken advantage of and people still hate you, even when you be doing kind things to them, because that's how it works, y'all. Like the more you continue to do kind things to the people who aren't right in their spirit they still hate you for that they still hate you for that because they know deep down the demons that they have so when they see you consistently being kind to them like they don't know how to act you know what I'm saying it makes them you know think like what about this person is always making them so happy and so lovable you know what I mean it's, 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 it's basically like that light that you have, that light that you bring into them, it, 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 it irritates their demons and it irritates that place of darkness that they're still in. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you just trying to help. That's all we trying to do, y'all. We just trying to help. God made us that way for a reason. He brought us here to help each other, y'all. To help each other. So it's just like, man, that's why we need to make sure when it comes to those people who are always, you know, coming around, just trying to take advantage of you, or just always coming around trying to gaslight you. 
are always coming around just trying to get up under your skin, just know that you're doing the right thing. I know it don't make sense, y'all, but just know you're doing the right thing. And keep that energy. Keep that energy regardless of what they're doing. You're going to be blessed for it. You continuing to do these things, you moving forward in your journey and in your walk the correct way. That's all that matters. God sees everything, y'all. Nothing is hidden. Everything that's done in the dark is going to come to the light. You better believe it. So that's why we just keep doing these things out of love, with kindness, so that we can keep our energy right, so that we can stay obedient, so that we can help the world the best way that we can. The world needs it, y'all. It really does, man. It really does. I see it every day. I see it every day, just the hate that people got towards people. The demons that is coming out, so much more broader. You most definitely see it and understand it the more you grow in your in your spirituality the more you, you know what i'm saying just follow your path living righteous you start to see it more god opens your eyes he gives you wisdom to really start to understand and see why people are doing certain things but it's nothing to be confused about we ain't got that spirit of confusion the devil wants people confused out here the devil wants people killing each other out here being separate from each other out here, not coming together, building that unity in Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come on, y'all, doing things together, building together, learning with one another, helping each other out of kindness. You want to be in that community. You're not going to get that in this world. That's why it's important, and I'm going to shout them out again, New Breed Global Truth. It's up top. Visit the website, newbreed.love. Unlimited Potential Farms, man. They building real community out there. Real work is getting done. That community with people who are like-minded, kind-hearted, you know what I'm saying? Just like you. Ready to build businesses, help you build businesses and homes with protection. Come on. That area where you got your own food and water as well. Not being controlled by this dark and evil demonic forces that is coming out now. It's getting real out here, y'all. It's getting so real. They're trying to replace us with robots. Come on, man. They ready for people to get the mark of the beast out here. But what side you on? What you going to choose? Where do you want to be? That's all happening now for you to get involved. All you got to do is have faith. Pray about it. Talk to God about it. Allow him to help you in making these decisions. But the time is now, y'all. The time is now. So that we can come to that community where we peaceful. Doing things out of love. Doing things out of kindness. Allow more people to be brought to the kingdom. Yes, sir, indeed. That's like some nice way to get them swords out. One more time. I say one more time. Ephesians 4, verse 32. Be kind to one another. Tenderhearted. Forgiving one another as God Christ forgave you. Said it clear, y'all. Makes it clear. Let's not just meditate in this word. Let's live this word out. God gave us this truth to live out, not just read. And when we pray him, we got to understand, y'all, we can't just pray and not put forth works because faith is dead without it. Faith is dig dead without works, all right? Yes, sir, indeed. Now, for everybody who put on these fragrances with me, thank you. Staying this whole time? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. I love you. Appreciate it. Smash that like button if you ain't done so yet. Come on now. I will highly appreciate that. Now, it's something else that I must do, y'all. Nothing to force you with. Just to give that opportunity out there. Part of the outro, man. If you really want that victory. The real victory. Ending up in eternity with the Heavenly Father. Come on, y'all. Repeat after me. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe he died for my sins. I believe he rose from the grave and is now in heaven with our Heavenly Father. And I want him to be Lord of my life. <sighs> yes, sir, man. If you just repeated after me the best decision you ever made. God is watching. The angels in heaven are watching. It's big lit up there right now. Big turned up. You better believe it. Come on, y'all. Keep that energy because the devil, he saw you do it too. The devil saw you do that too, but guess what? God didn't give us a spirit of fear. No, sir. So all we got to do, all you got to do 
It's continue to depend on God with everything, 100%. With your mind, your heart, and your soul. He got you, please. Just depend on him. Use those gifts and talents he gave you every single day. Allow him to help you do it. He gonna help you. He got you. He gave it to you for a reason, right? And come on now. Meditate in that word daily, y'all. Get your daily bread. Fill that Holy Spirit up. You want it to overflow every day. Come on, so you can be in alignment the best way possible with God's will. All right? Come on, y'all. He got y'all. Please believe it. If y'all repeat it after me, I'm so proud of you. Big facts. Now, just a few, just three more things I'd like to leave y'all with before I go. It's only right. So bring it on in and listen closely. Oh, I, I'm gonna need y'all to have a nice. You know what I'm saying? I say, oh, I, I'm gonna need y'all to have a blessed. Ask. You got to ask sometimes. Just ask for every blessing that God has for you today. Do it right now if you ain't did it yet. You best believe God wants you to receive them. Card will do too. Big facts, no cap. So it's only right that you want to receive your blessings. You feel me? And I got one more thing for you. I'm gonna need y'all to have a B E A beautiful day. Yes. Peace out, man. God bless and continue to keep on these Christ like fragrances. Come on, y'all. Allow another people to embrace them as well. All right. Come on, everybody. Keep using y'all's gifts and talents every day. Every day. Don't let them go to waste. Come on. Everybody, please continue to pray for yourselves every day and pray for those around you. All right. And slice and dice gang. Y'all know how we do. Let's continue to do everything in our power. Bring in more people to the kingdom. I'm out of here.